This is a guide on replacing the touchscreen digitizer and an OLED display on a Samsung Galaxy Note 2. It is best to replace both if either of them are broken or defective. To begin, make sure that the phone is not powered on and proceed on removing the back cover. The back cover is designed to be opened with a fingernail. Just be careful to unsnap each tap gently. Set the back cover aside and remove the battery. Proceed on removing 11 Phillips screws. All of these screws are identical. We'll be using standard case opening tools to separate the front assembly from the mid frame. A good place to begin is around the bottom just above the charge port and continue opening the front assembly with the help of a case opening tool. Once the front assembly is evenly lifted, the mid frame can be separated. There are two tabs on the inside, near the bottom right and upper left corner of the battery bay that will unsnap, the mid frame will open up fairly easy. Using the case opening tool, unsnap five connections from the logic board. Remove one small Phillips screw on the right upper side of the logic board. Unsnap the Wi-Fi antenna cable and another small connector from the logic board. Lift the logic board away from the front assembly, starting at the left upper corner and making sure no connectors are getting caught. The original touchscreen and display are mounted with adhesive around the front frame, which will need to be warmed up with a heat gun for an easier separation. Warm up the entire front assembly thoroughly and evenly. Make sure not to focus the heat on one spot for too long. Begin separating the display at the right upper corner. Use a case opening tool to carefully get between the front assembly and the touchscreen. Keep warming up the perimeter of the touchscreen if the separation process is slowing down. Keep working the sides until all four are evenly separated from the assembly. Once the bottom edge is separating, make sure to properly unglue the buttons and the connecting cable from the glass digitizer. Those need to stay with the front assembly. As well, the digitizer and the display connector board may be glued with the display adhesive tape and will require a bit of attention to separate properly. The white piece is the light filter for the backlit button. Also, the speaker grill is usually not included on the replacement part, but it is easily transferable. Simply unsnap it from the original touchscreen. The same goes for the home button and the decorative framing around it. Both need to be transferred onto the new part. Before the new part can be installed, all the little extras have to be attached to it. If the new part does not come with its own adhesive, it's best to transfer the old adhesive onto the new part. Alternatively, new adhesive needs to be sourced, or if there are no plans on breaking or repairing the device in the future, super glue is also feasible. Replace the decorative home button frame. Replace one of the button light filters which came off the old part in the same position. It needs to wrap around the button on the flex cable. Replace the home button. To fit the screen onto the front assembly, start at the bottom, making sure that the white light filter wraps around the button and the flex cable. Start closing the display with the front assembly. The digitizer and display connectors have to be threaded through the frame at the top. The speaker grill can be inserted just before closing the display fully. Firmly press around the perimeter of the display to catch the adhesive. At this point, the logic board can be installed. Carefully position it in place, ensuring that no connectors are getting caught underneath. Reconnect the bottom right connector. Secure one small Phillips screw. Reconnect the small connector at the bottom right. Reconnect the Wi-Fi antenna connector. Make sure that the Wi-Fi coaxial cable is properly routed under the logic board. Secure five connections at the top. All connectors make a distinctive click when connected properly. Please be careful as the connectors are extremely fragile. 
Now the midframe can be replaced. Align it with the front assembly and firmly press around the perimeter to snap in the tabs. Replace the 11 identical Phillips screws on the midframe. Replace the battery and finally replace the back cover. At this point, the new screen can be tested. Press the power button on the side and if the startup graphics appears, it is safe to remove the screen protector. After testing the touchscreen functions and the lower buttons, you're done.